There's new fallout surrounding the Surfside condo collapse settlement. The attorneys who helped secure more than $1 billion for the victims' families are seeking about $100 million in legal fees. And that's not sitting well with survivors. Local 10's Glenna Moberg is live in Surfside for us tonight. Glenna. Nicole, 10% of that billion dollar settlement, that is the attorney's fees now officially requested in the court record, an eye popping number to so many people. But we talked to some families of these people who were lost and we're hearing they at least will be happy to pay it. So the attorneys, many of them got in this because of how connected they felt to this catastrophe. Martin Langesfeld is among the families who would give up that billion dollar settlement to get his sister, brother-in-law and 96 others back. And he fully supports a 100 million of it for attorney's fees. I fully respect to the end what the attorneys did. They had an incredible outcome. The list of legal minds involved in consolidating and settling families' lawsuits against the people and companies they blame for Champlain Towers collapse includes 132 South Florida attorneys and staff billing more than 34,000 billable hours. And then that amount is multiplied as a risky, complicated class action. The expert hired by the attorneys to calculate reasonable fees wrote how no one expected the result. It's unprecedented. And without this team of attorneys, he wrote, it would not have happened. I, I want to speak to you about fairness, yeah, Your Honor. In the most recent hearing last month, unit owners, part of a separate $96 million property settlement, they raised issues that attorneys who settled the wrongful death claims will receive more than they will. This case had been legally played out. This court's belief is the unit owners would have walked away with nothing. The attorneys all got into this case not knowing if there were to be one dollar for them at the end of the day. We did talk to one of the lead counsels on that attorney's team today, and he said he felt it would really not be appropriate to speak in public about the attorney fee request before the judge even handled it. That comes on June 23rd. That's the next hearing. It's called a fairness hearing. It will be open to some of the people here involved to speak as well. And uh, he hopes to have some sort of legitimate number finalized by the end of the summer. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Surfside today, Local 10 News. Okay, Glenna, thanks a lot.